Hey, what's up everyone? So today I'm going to be going over a few accessories that I purchased for both my electric XP and also my wife's electric XP step through. Now many of you have already seen my initial accessory video that I made for my XP about a year ago and that video has been doing really well with almost 75,000 views. So like I said, I figured I would update it here. It's been about a year. Show you guys some of the accessories that I'm still using and the ones that I changed out for some new ones. Now, uh, first and foremost, most of the stuff that I uh, purchased and put on these bikes, like the handlebars, the grips, the mirrors, everything like that, I did do installation videos on a lot of that stuff. So if you guys are interested in seeing some of the stuff being put on, make sure you check out my playlist for the XPs and all those videos will be down in there from the free wheel to the seat, seat post, handlebars, grips, mirrors. I show this bag in my trail ride video. A lot, just a lot of different things. If you guys are interested in a bike rack for these bikes, I also have some good videos. If you check out my trail ride video, I show an example of both of these bikes on that rack, which is the rack that I normally use for these bikes. So if you guys are interested in that, I did a great review on that as well. I will be putting affiliate links down below in the description of this video for everything that I talk about in this video today and all the accessories that I use and recommend for both of these bikes. They will be affiliate links. So if you guys use them, I will make a small commission at no extra cost to you. And a lot of you have said that you can't find the links down below. Next to the title of the video, there's a little arrow. If you click on that arrow, arrow, it will open up the description of the video and everything will be down in there. Now, if Amazon goes out of stock in this stuff, which they do occasionally, or, or sometimes they'll change the link once I post it. If you find a problem with any of the links, please put in the comments below and let me know so I could fix it. And also, sometimes you could put the stuff in your, like a wish list or something, or a shopping list, and then you can go back daily and check it. And a lot of times that stuff will come back in stock, and then you guys can go ahead and purchase it. So let's go ahead and get into it. But wait a minute. First, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell, please, and thank you. Now let's get back into it. A lot of the things that I'm still using from my initial video is the accessory holder on the handlebars. Still using the free wheel. I do have that installed since my last video. The suspension seat and the seat post from Zoom, which is, in my opinion, one of the best purchases that I could have made for this bike. It made it so much more comfortable. The cell phone holder, which I went over in my initial video. Um, let's see, what else do I have on here from my initial video? The cup holder. Now, a lot of people asked about this cup holder here. Now this is two pieces this piece you purchase separately and then you can attach any cup holder you want onto this piece and this i got at walmart on clearance i believe they still may have one i, I think i seen a few days ago online that's almost identical to this one now but i did get it on clearance at walmart and then this uh, uh, piece here you can i'll put a link to amazon if i can find it on there for you guys for that and that's worked out really well for me, that cup holder being mounted right there. A lot of you have asked about security or what I use to lock up my bike. Now, normally I don't leave it anywhere. I really don't leave it unattended. Most of the time I'm riding it or, not, or right with it. I'm very cautious about where I leave it, but if I do have to lock it up, I have a Kryptonite Chain Lock Evolution Series Lock. And that thing is massive though. I gotta tell you guys, that thing there weighs about 10 pounds, but it is really thick. It's gonna be really hard for somebody to steal your bike with that lock on. It's gonna take them a long time if they had a hacksaw. I don't believe you can cut that chain with bolt cutters. I'm pretty sure there were some videos on it, but that is actually the lock that the uh, lock picking lawyer, if you guys have never seen him on YouTube, he recommended that lock. He, that's one of the ones that he recommended. If you watch him pick some of the locks that he picks, it's insane how fast he gets by some of these locks but that one was a good recommendation from him so that's the one i decided to go with now the only thing is um, thank god it's electric bike because it helps you carrying that extra 10 pounds if you were needing to take it with you i do use this bike lock a lot of times when the bikes are on back of the vehicle to lock them to the vehicle or if you go camping or something to lock the bikes up to the vehicle or if you can't bring them in you know a camper or whatever and you had to lock them up it's it's a good option there that's why i wanted something really uh, big and heavy duty now they do make a new style chain to where you can loop it through and then it, it, it actually makes it twice as long because you don't have to loop the whole chain around um, i wasn't quite sure how the other end was going to attach to that but i did think about purchasing that one but i just want to show you guys here how long this chain is now normally like you can wrap it around here um, you can wrap it around your seat post and and finagle it through here 
just to you know kind of keep it out of the way while you're riding if you want a lot of times i'll just put it in my bag back here because i, I usually put my tool kit which has all my tools for fixing flat tires or whatnot i usually mount that down here but uh right now i have it in here because this chain's here but i'll show you guys here i'll take that off here and show you guys just how massive this thing is and uh i was really surprised with it whenever i i got this thing and opened it up uh, let me see here i got a couple different keys for kryptonite so hopefully this is the right one yep first try was a charm so let's go ahead and get this thing unwrapped off of here now when you guys chain your bikes up i, I do want to uh, mention that you don't want to just go through this thing this can be easily cut that's only aluminum now you can go through here but i recommend coming down through here too maybe through your uh, chain ring you want to come through as many different points as you can that way if somebody was to try to you know damage the bike to get the chain off uh, they would really have to destroy it but basically um, this is it here it's fi about five foot long or so the one that, that i got and like i said i'll put links to this below in the description but this thing here i mean it is just massive i mean it, it's massive but it does like i said it does do the job you can see how big it is how big everything is on it there's one of the links but that's what i use to secure my bike most of the time now i do have another little little uh cable lock in the side over here that I, I take with me now these cable locks the these are not good for security i mean you could really cut these things with a small pair of bolt cutters or easily with a saw or whatnot but it is a, nice for a little bit extra security just to help from somebody walking by stealing your seat or your seat post i you know usually run this through the seat post and everything just as extra security through the rims and stuff um, I don't use this alone i would not trust this alone definitely want to use something heavier duty like the kryptonite lock with this if if you're going to go that route okay so now that pretty much sums up the security for how i secure my bikes and what's nice about that uh, kryptonite one is it's long enough that i could put the, both of these bikes side by side and lock them both up with that one five foot chain lock so now the next thing i want to go over with is handlebars i didn't replace the ones on mine but I did replace the ones on my wife's and I did a full uh, tutorial video on that if you guys are interested in these, but these are nice swept back handlebars, which gives you just slightly less reach to your handlebars. Now, I really like these handlebars a lot. I, I don't know if I'm gonna change mine or not, but I do really like these. The only thing is that I've noticed is it may be a little easier on long trips to control the throttle if you had a thumb throttle. Now I've seen they make something you could put around there now don't get me wrong i mean you could control the throttle easily with these too but on very very long trips your wrist might get tired just because of the way it's bent trying to twist the throttle um, but you could buy a little attachment and i'll put a link to that below as well too if i could find it that you could put on these grips but what also works is if you put a big zip tie around there and tighten it up and leave the square part here at the handle that works really well that'll give you the uh thumb throttle as well and then if you don't want it on there you can just cut it off or, or whatnot i did put for security i did put a lot of people asked what this was it is actually a horn it's very loud very loud horn but it's also a security alarm oh great now i got the dog neighbor's dog barking but it's also a security alarm so i have a remote here that i could set the alarm and then if somebody comes by and bumps the bike the alarm will go off now one thing about this alarm now this thing um I think they just started carrying them on Amazon. I bought this off AliExpress. I'm pretty sure you can get them now on Amazon and I'll put links to them, but I can't verify those for sure because I didn't purchase it from Amazon. But um, if you do get one of these, you gotta watch in the description on Amazon. You wanna make sure you get the one with the remote because the re one with the remotes is usually the one that has the alarm. If it doesn't have a remote, it probably doesn't have an alarm and I've seen a few of them on, listed on Amazon that said they were alarms, but they're not, they're just the horn. So make sure you get the ones with the remote guys if you do get one of these. That works actually pretty well. The only thing is the sensitivity on here is not the greatest, which could be a good thing and could be a bad thing. Now, uh, if it was too sensitive, which I did buy a little 
under seat alarm that which did not work because as soon as you armed it any little vibration at all would set that thing off if a large truck rolled by or anything the vibration from it would set it off this thing it's not quite that sensitive but it does get the job done if somebody were to hop on your bike and move so you can see here that i just moved it it didn't do anything um, but if somebody were to hop on your bike see sometimes it, it doesn't work as good as others let me see here I think I armed it. Yeah, there it goes. So you can see there, it does go off, but it does, for some reason, the one that I purchased, it does take a little while for it to activate it. Sometimes it's a little less than others, so I'm not sure exactly, you know, how this thing, you know, senses, but I wish it was a little bit more sensitive, but I noticed, you know, if somebody were to really grab it and take it um, it will go off but what's nice is uh, it does have the loud horn as well if you were riding in town and needed a horn and w definitely wanted somebody to hear you so it's just a nice little added feature and you can also get these uh, horn alarms from juiced bikes website also I believe they sell them on there as well like I said they're probably all pretty much the same and then I did see a few newer ones where they had adjustable uh, sensitivities on them that would be kind of cool mine does not have that but uh, just a few different options there one thing that i have that's new since my last accessory video is the b sole bag that i have here on the side and this is really nice because it, it sits down below your neck it doesn't sit way up high and i usually don't ride with this on i usually have this in the back but this is actually a cell phone holder but what i put in here is a solar powered rechargeable pack and what I do with this is I run a cable from this out the bottom to my phone when I need to charge my phone. And then when it's sitting on the bike, you can actually see the little green light here. It's actually recharging from, this, from the sun. So i uh, show you guys what that looks like. Now, the reason that I don't like using this with my phone, see there, there's that, that there. But the reason that I don't like using this, this thing with my phone in it is because my phone has a touch thing to unlock it or to go home and it has to sense your finger to open your phone up and for some reason through this case it does not so the only reason to get around that would be to either cut a little hole in this but i usually have my phone mounted up on my handlebars anyway so i just use this for the rechargeable uh, lithium battery pack here and and it's been working out well for me like that like i said this sits down below your neck so when you're turning your your handlebars this isn't hitting your bag i've seen some of them other ones that sit up high but i just like the way that this one's real sleek and fits on there but this there's enough room here you know to put a lot of different things i usually put my keys my wallet in here um, things like that one other reason why i bought a second one which my wife's been using but i bought a second one and i had her modify the second one slightly um, there's a a strap that goes around the front and then a strap that goes underneath i had her modify the one strap so that they both go underneath and i actually sometimes put two bags on my bike here like this and what that does is basically that covers up the name of the bike if you want to cover up the name while you're riding somewhere quickly you could just strap the second bag on you have a lot more storage there you could put extra things in and it covers up the name of the bike from it saying electric now the only thing that you guys are going to want to watch if you do this is you don't want to cover that frame too much if you're in a really high heat environment because you don't want your battery to get overheated in this frame. You want this aluminum to be kind of like a heat sink to be able to um, cool your battery down. So you, you just want to watch covering it too much with two of these if it's really, really hot out. But like now, uh, fall time, winter time, perfectly fine to use two of these on here. But like I said, my wife's been using this, this one on her bike here. So just wanted to show you guys why I use two of them now. Uh, one other thing that one of my other favorite purchases since last time is the rear trunk bag. And this is, this bag is made by Rock Bros. And um, this bag is, you know, it, it's, a, it's a pretty good bit of money. My, my other bag that I had in my other accessory video, don't get me wrong, it works fine and it's really cheap and it does work, but this one just gives you a lot of extra storage. Um, I showed this in one of my other videos, but it's really well made. This carbon fiber one's almost like a waterproof. Um, you can see I actually have some stuff, toolkit and stuff in here, but these panniers fold down and you got tons of storage in each side if you need it on the go. Actually, I have a little bungee net in here 
to bungee stuff on here if I needed to. But uh, really nice. I, I love how these paneers just fold down when you need them and then fold back up when you don't. And like I said, there's one on each side. You can still use the side to put some stuff in too as well. And then on the back here, this actually, this back actually comes up higher if you unzip this strap or this uh, zipper here, this will actually pop up and give you more room inside the bag as well. So you could put some bigger things in the bag just by unzipping that zipper there and expanding that. But there's just a lot of uh, a lot of room in this bag, and it's just it's really made well. And one thing that's nicer about this bag is the way that it attaches to the rack. It fits on there perfectly. The straps are wide enough with the velcro and two velcro straps go around the front to keep it from sliding back now the other bag that i had i had to make a little loop to go around the seat post to keep the front from sliding back and the other straps that strapped the bag to the rack you really couldn't go around the whole rack you had to go kind of like skip one of the outside rails and and it did work it just wasn't ideal like i said the rock bros bag that's definitely one of my other favorite accessories. Some other things that I upgraded was the hand grips on both bikes. Now these are just a silicone foam grip on, on both of these. Uh, they, they do make some, some more expensive one like the um, wolf tooth grips or something I think they are. Um, but I'll, I'll throw some links down below for these. These uh, side mirrors here, I got one on both my bike and my wife's bike. These are Hafni Baron mirrors, and these are, the, I think, MRO 87s, which are a little bit bigger in diameter, and they're stainless steel glass, so the glass won't break. Let's see, what else? So my wife uses a different cell phone holder than me, just because I had this one laying around. Um, but I actually like how the blue matches the bike really good. So she uses this style, and the one that I use, it's, uh, I actually kind of like it better, the way the phone, my phone mounts in there. I think you could put some bigger phones in this one, but with mine, I have mine on my initial accessory video. So if you guys are interested in that, let's see what else do I have on here. Oh yeah, the uh, rim strips. Now these are reflective rim strips for any of you that uh, want to be a little bit more seen at night. I have an installation video that I did on these if you guys are interested in it. I have the dark blue ones on my bike and the baby blue ones on my wife's bike. And I think that the color has actually turned out really well. They match the bikes really good, and at night those things really shine pretty good with some, uh, you know, certain types of lighting that hits them and does help you be a lot more seen both during the day and at night. Actually, I know I'm going to forget something, guys. So now a lot of you have asked about bike pumps, what bike pump you should get for your bike. Now, I, I do have a regular standard small bike pump that I have in my tool kit that I usually carry around. Now, I always carry around tool kits for screwdrivers, Allen wrenches, um, stuff like that, patch repair kit for your for your bike. And this thing never uh, leaves my bike. That way, if I get a flat tire on the way, I could, I could fix it. But one thing that I do also take with me is a spare tube. And these you're not gonna be able to find at a lot of local stores like Walmart and stuff like that. So you're definitely gonna wanna get some of these to have just in case you get a blowout and it's too big of a hole to where you can't patch it. Now, the tube that I carry around is a Mongoose. It's a 20 by four tube, and these are fairly reasonable. But in here, below my tube, what I carry is a little CO2 cartridge that um, allows you to air your tire up easily. That way, you know, if I'm in a, you know, in a hurry or whatever, this will work fairly easy. And I carry around an extra CO2 cartridge as well. But that's what I have in case I get a flat and my tire is completely flat. If I need to just add a little bit of air, I just use the regular standard pump and I'll show you guys here. Now it does take a good while to pump up with this standard pump, but it does get the job done. This is just a, a re the regular pump, and this actually came with my cycle torch light that I did in my first uh, initial video, but these little pumps you could buy just by themselves, but it will get the job done, but it will take you a good amount of time to pump it up with this thing. Let's see what else. Now, a lot of people also wanted to know and asked about what size spoke wrench to use on your bike. This little bell tool kit, which is I showed in my initial accessory video, it has a spoke wrench in here and let's see what size fits. Cause everybody always asks me and I always forget, but if you were to buy just a spoke wrench, four millimeter one, which 
don't know if you guys could see right here, but that's the size for the spoke wrench that you're gonna want. You could buy a little spoke wrench tool that has all the different sizes on there, but uh, 4.0 is the size that you guys are gonna need for those spokes specifically. Now, one thing I do wanna mention, guys, is that, you know, a lot of people commented on my videos and was like, oh, yeah, you're getting a cheap bike, but you gotta put all that money and accessories into those bikes. You really don't. I mean, these bikes, you know, they come, they, they don't really need anything. You could hop on them after you initially do your first inspection and make sure everything's tight and you can go. A lot of this stuff is just personal preference, you know, just like with a vehicle, things that you want to update on it just to make it, you know, personal to you, to your liking as far as bags and stuff like that. Now, none of this stuff is necessary. It's just to make some of the stuff that makes it more comfortable for you. So a lot of the stuff you had at a more expensive bike, you'd be putting on there anyway, like the cell phone holder you know, extra mounting space, different bags. I mean, all that stuff is stuff that you're gonna be putting on other bikes anyway. The only thing that I do suggest is the, uh, for sure, to make the ride more comfortable is the suspension seat post and the Cloud9 Select Comfort seat. Now, I've noticed that these seats here have been out of stock on Amazon, but if you put it in your, like an Amazon wish list or something like that, and keep checking back daily, eventually they'll come back and stop stock and then you guys can go ahead and and get those but the one that i have specifically i will put a link down below to that one it has the air hole in the center they make a m million different uh cloud nine seats and some people said you know some of them weren't for them i mean it's really your own personal preference i think a lot of people found a lot of comfort in that one now as i was saying before is the original bag that I was using on my bike and like I said it still works great I actually gave it to my son he uses this puts this on his bike but um, you know it does work but you just don't get the extra storage that you get with the flip down panniers of that and also the expandable top and it's just not as good quality as the rock bros bag so let's see what else did I want to go over one thing I do have coming guys is electric is sending me their actual seat post for the step through and one thing that I do want to mention is the seat posts from electric the one for the regular bike and the one for the step through are two different sizes on the suspension seat posts the suspension seat posts they sell for the regular electric is actually longer than the one that they sell for this and that's because this seat post comes down and hits the top of this so they have to make that seat post a little bit shorter but they do have me one coming for both of my bikes so that I could check those out and I'll probably be doing a comparison video on both of those whenever I get them so if you guys are interested in seeing that make sure you guys hit subscribe and that bell so you get notified whenever I do that video and one other thing I forgot to mention guys is the bike cover that I use is a transportation cover so if you guys are interested in learning more about that cover check out that video that's in my playlist as well now the transportation cover it has a ripstop material and it's going to be a little bit more durable than a standard cover and it's better for when you're transporting your bikes and using it on back of the vehicle so it'll just hold up a little bit better so if you guys do get one and you want a more durable one make sure it's the transportation style let's get back into it i believe that's about it so yeah if you guys like i said are interested in seeing any of the stuff that i put on here check out my playlist check out all those videos um, i'm sure you'll find a lot of useful information in there as i get new accessories i will add the links to the description of the video and I just want to say, guys, that these are all affiliate links. So if you guys do use them, I will make a small commission at no extra cost to you. But that's what helps this channel grow and helps me uh, keep producing content for you guys. So thanks for watching, guys. And I will see you guys around on the next one.